Welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Dave Collison. I'm going to be using Blender 2.5 to show you how to build a big round brick wall using just one brick and the Arrays modifier. I'm not going to delete the default cube because that's going to be our basic brick for the entire wall. But we will go into front view by pressing numpad 1 and take it out of perspective mode by pressing numpad 5. Zoom in a little bit with the middle mouse wheel. Tap into edit mode. Scale the scale the cube down to a quarter of its size by pressing S and 0.25. Press enter. We're also going to at this point tap out of edit mode and add an empty. Not with the space bar, but with Shift A for add. Go down to empty. This is going to be used to control one of the array modifiers to form the brick wall. I'll select the brick again and go to modifiers, add modifier and select array. And straight away you can see it's added an extra brick. We're going to use relative offset um, 0.75 units on the X axis and 1 on the Z axis. This moves each copy in the array across by 0.75 the width of the object and up by exactly 1 times the height of the object. And quickly do a copy of that and collapse it, give us some room. This second copy isn't going to be moved across at all. This is going to give us a nice pattern for our wall. So we've removed the X offset and have just a Z, a Z offset, which is offset on the first array modifier. Do another copy, collapse this one. This one's not going to use relative offset, it's going to use an offset object which is the empty that we added so we select the empty you can just type empty in there and now you'll be able to see if we select the empty grab it press X to constrain it to the x-axis it moves a copy of both of the other array modifiers and it's starting to form a brick wall it's not a circle yet, but it is a brick wall. Select the brick wall again. And change the count for the last array modifier from 2 to 36, which will give us plenty of bricks to play with to make a circular brick wall. Select the empty again. You can just click on it in the outliner. Or usually you can. And we're going to rotate the empty on the z-axis by exactly 10 degrees. Seeing as there's 32 steps, rotating it by 10 degrees should form a full circle. And there it is. Back to front view of numpad 1. Select the wall again. Collapse that modifier. And just for a bit of extra highlighting, we're going to add a bevel modifier, which you can adjust the width on by dragging that down. So we get some nice edges on the cubes. We should add some nice highlights when it's rendered. Back to front view. Right, to get the effect we're looking for, we need to get this lamp, bring it down into the middle of the circle, doesn't have to be accurate, about there should do it, and we just make sure is casting shadows. 
and it's got ray shadow on so that's fine finally for the effect we need to add a floor so make sure that the cursor is at the bottom of the wall so that the floor goes underneath the wall go to top view place the cursor somewhere in the middle if you turn off the uh, what's that called the manipulator turn off the manipulator with control space and you can just click where the lamp is shift A to add mesh plane we're going to scale the plane up press S and enter 20 tap into edit mode and subdivide it press W subdivide and we can just go over to the tools panel and crank the number of cuts up to 10 come out of edit mode back to front view zoom in a bit and press ctrl alt and numpad 0 it'll align the camera to the view and select the camera grab and press the middle mouse button and you can move it backwards to fit the entire wall in then grab it again move it up a bit and press rotate and X twice and you can tilt it down the first steps are all done now if you press F12 for a quick render then you've got a lovely wall but seeing as we're using blender 2.5 let's go a little bit further with this select the wall again I'm going to give it a nice glowing green material Let's click on materials and change the diffuse color to green change emit to about 0.15 doesn't have to be very high then go into world options where we can turn on ambient occlusion and you need about half of that and indirect lighting all the way to the top and then click on approximate then we press F12 once more and you've got a lovely big green glowing wall of bricks all made from one brick and because you use the erase modifier anything you do to that brick will adjust the entire wall so if you select it tab into edit mode and scale it on the Z axis or on the X axis you can do whatever you want with it hope that's been helpful